Have you seen the last post? The thing about this music thing, it's, it, you know, we just want to clear something up for some of the Negroes out here that are really lost on a great deal of concepts. A lot, great deal of us didn't grow up with a Magic 102 or a Hot 97 or a Power 106. We didn't have that. We had pop culture music jammed and blared over the radio into our ears. And granted, personally, we are, were fortunate. Our parents had 45s and LPs for days. So blues, oldies, which y'all call oldies, that was just their music, right? Right. So to take this a step further, there was a country western bar where this brother was in, and Heather Lynn was all up on him, and her dude Earl Ray was feeling some type away and the whole time the brother's giving them office eyes like at the camera on some just like like get her off me right right and negroes are like why was he in that country boy in the face because that's why he grew up in an environment where country music was on their airwaves we're willing to bet you a dollar and, and, and to take it a step further when it comes to interracial relationships that's about proximity too we tell people all the time we grew up attending a black church while living in a mexican neighborhood and attending white schools so guess who we lost our virginity to before we became a teenager <clears throat> the first five girls that we had sex with <laughs> Guess what color they were not. R E X.